Good morning. Welcome this morning to Prayers That Light Our Path. You know, this morning I want us to read from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 19 and 20. The Bible tells us, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. You know, sometimes when life gets busy and we have a million things to do, who do we look to for help? Who do we seek for encouragement? Who do we seek for peace and guidance? Do you call your best friend? Do you talk to your spouse? Do you go to your parents? Typically, these are the people that we go to when we're searching for help and encouragement. Even though these people can be great sources for many of these things, they shouldn't be the first one that we seek. Isn't it odd that the owner, maker, and creator of this universe is often the most overlooked one of all? It's sad to see how many Christ followers, followers view Jesus as their last resort rather than their first call. In our flesh, we often look at our friends, family members, or our employers to say, I am where I am because of you. We do this rather than realizing that we are where we are right now only by the grace of God. We turn to our friends, our employers, to help solve our problems. We look to our family to fix us, but only Jesus can set us in really the right direction. Only He can satisfy our hearts. Only He can steer us in the t path that we need to take 100% of the time. Only Jesus can give us everything that we need in our greatest time of need. Think about who you turn to first when life gets crazy, when it gets difficult, when it gets overwhelming. If you're turning to someone other than to your Savior, remember that He is your best friend. No matter what you're experiencing, He will never leave you nor let you down. He will always give you exactly what your heart and soul needs to keep going. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, we come to you this morning thankful for the promise that you will always be there for us in times of need. That you be our first responder, if you will, to those times when we're in crises when we're sad, when we're disappointed, when we have a big decision to make. Thank you, Father, that we have the opportunity to turn to you and you, you will lead us in the right direction. If we read your word, those words can lead us into the right direction. Father, we thank you for the abundance of blessings that you give to us. Father, we thank you for the assurances and the promises that are told to us through your word. Father, this morning we also ask you to be with all of those who are sick, especially be with a wonderful family who lost their father yesterday. Help them. Pick them up. Wrap your arms around them. It's a difficult time, Father, but I ask you to be with them as they transcend these next few days. Thank you, Father. Be with those who are having financial trouble, who are having emotional or behavioral problems. Help them to seek the right road. Father, we love you. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. You know, when life gets tough, they always say the tough get going. The only way that we have the strength many times to get going is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gives us the strength that we need to transcend any problem that we may have. If you're having problems, go to Him today. Ask for His help. Pour your problems out to Him. And I truly believe that God will answer your prayers and He will help you to stay on that right path and to solve any problem that you may have. Always remember you have God's favor. You have God's grace. God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, happy, and glorious day.